hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started all right so the first thing i'm going to copy the color code ctrl plus c to copy or right click and copy now we are going to use gradient fill color now select here i'm going to leave this one white then come over here select it now right click and paste the color now then click ok select the top one over here and increase the opacity to 100 percent then you click ok now come over here and we are going to change this from linear to radial. You can see the changes. Then after that one, then we are going to adjust the scale to 133 like this. Then apply it. Now we are going to import the background we are going to use in this tutorial. Now the first background, now go to your resource file. And over here, you are going to import this background here then drag it click ok then after that then go to your blending mode and here we are going to change it to screen like this then the second one go back again and now i'm going to import this one here then reduce the size this way drag it up something like this now we are going to change the blending mode to luminosity like this then apply your layer mask select your brush over here then we are going to brush around it round something this way okay now i'm going to select this one then increase increase it like this it's okay then select this one then adjust it something like this all right so after this one then we are going to import another background from here so now we are going to import this background then reduce the size drag it up over here then change the blending mode to screen and reduce the opacity to 35 percent something like this then apply your layer mask select your brush or you can use a gradient tool now i'm going to select this one increase it a little then i'm going to duplicate this one drag it over there to duplicate then click here right click and uh, flip it horizontal now hold your shift key while you drag it over here then you click ok to apply so after this one so the next one then we are going to import this paper here then bring it down this way is okay now go to your filter select blur Gaussian blur and we are going to plot it by 10.2 or 10.0 so any one you want to use is okay like this now then we are going to our blending mode to change it to overlay apply your layer mask and select your gradient to over here make sure that here is black and white then blend it 
this way is okay so and the last one we are going to import this particle here then bring it down scale it up then change it to screen then apply filter blur Gaussian blur and we are going to make it 8.2 or 8.0 so anyone then something like this all right so having done this one so the next one we are going to apply then is our test so i'm going to leave the the inferts i use in the description so over here is the inferts i use in that description so i'm going to show you how i made the inferts okay guys so here is the infect i use already i have prepared them and arranged them over here so i'm going to import this one and show you how i created this using this test infect over here so now i'm going to select this one i will select it all then why i will drag it over here So over here, this is the, the effect I use. Now, I'm going to show you how I come about this effect here. All right, so I'm going to copy the test from here. I'm going to copy this one to show you the sample. Okay, now come over here. Then, and I'm going to open this one. So double click on it to open select your test tool then right click i'm going to replace this then select all then ctrl plus v to paste now change the font over here and i'm going to use the font impact then reduce the size something like this it's okay now having done this one so the next thing i'm going to save it then go to file then click on save you can also click or click here to delete it and save it now let's come over here so you can see now and if you look it you see notice that there is a differences over here then you can see the green line over here is not here so now i'm going to show you how i remove the green line so first remove this test all right and i'm going to remove the background then now i will come over this shadow here and I'm going to re remove this first one. So there is an effect here. So this shadow contain effect. So I remove the effect. Then now I'm going to remove this 3D here. So when you remove 3D, then you will see the outcome of it over here. So this is how I did it so by selecting all these things then you can enable the one you want then and remove the one you want so this is the 3d so i remove the 3d from it and i leave only this one now you can also click on this one to remove the sparkle light so there is a sparkle light over there so now when i click on this and I will remove this sparkle light over there. 
then if you want to remove the color correction then you can click on this but i don't i need this one so no need to remove it so these are the things i remove then to get this effect over here so this is how i did it all right i'm going to close this one now and let's continue so having done this one now so the next thing now then i'm going to create a rent angle then come over here to copy the color code Control plus c to copy double click here now Control plus v to paste for this one then go to your resource file and i'm going to import the church logo now reduce it take it up over here come over to your test i'm going to copy this one Control plus c to copy then select your test tool press t on your keyboard to select test or you press click here to select test tool Control plus v to paste Then apply left alignment and change the fonts. So I'm going to use century gothic font. Then make it bold. Now reduce the font size. And apply a space. Then remove the character spacing and create a space using 5%. 7% should be okay. Or 6%. It's okay. 6% is okay. Now, I'm going to change the color to white. Reduce the size. Then select this one and use your arrow key then to move it this way. So having done this one, I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. Then bring this one down over here. Then select your test tool. Control plus A to alight. Then copy this one. Control plus C to copy then control plus b to paste now i'm going to open the character spacing by four hundred percent is okay now i'm going to apply a drop shadow then using this setting here click ok to apply then reduce the size then apply a drop shadow to the church name then here i'm going to use six five and nine here then click ok to apply Then I'm going to hold my Alt key while I drag this to also apply the shadow to the church logo. So having done this one, so the next one, then go back to your test and I'm going to copy this one over here. Control plus C to copy, then select your test tool. Then I'm going to import the calendar icon, then reduce the size, then zoom in, then go to image, select adjustments, 
then come and select hue and saturation drag this one over here to apply white background right now we are going to paste the text we copy ctrl plus v to paste and change the font to impact then close the character spacing to zero percent and drag it down over here you can increase it Now copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, the Ctrl plus V to paste. Then also we are going to change the font to Brittany and change the font color, copy color from here and position it over here, drag it to the top. then come over to your test and copy this one then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to impact change the font color then to white reduce the font size Use your mouse to bring it down. Right. So now we are going to the other side over here. Then bring the time icon. Reduce the size. Go to image adjustment select hue and saturation then drag this one over here to apply white color and come over here to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste we are going to increase the font size select your test tool, highlight this one, then come over to your font size and reduce this one, like this. Okay. Now position it here, and we are going to reduce the size. Something like this. So now the next thing we are going to do, then select this one, then we are going to group the time, select the date, hold your shift key while you select it, then we'll group it together. Now we are going to apply a drop shadow using this setting over here. Then the same thing to our time. using the same setting then this is the outcome of it now we are going to draw a cycle over here now we are going to apply a color from the background shirt here like this then reduce the opacity just a little and now then we are going to test type our test something like this then copy a color from here then reduce the font size position it over here and we are going to duplicate this test here 
bring it down then change the font color to white and we are going to type again now we are going to reduce the font size select your test tool then we are going to break it and apply center alignment then the one i first duplicate i'm going to remove this one then i'm replace this one over there now we are going to change the test font to century gothic and make it bold also the host font change it to century gothic and make it bold now we are going to reduce the font size something this way Now I'm going to reduce this cycle to the smaller size like this. All right. Now select the cycle, then hold your shift key while you select both the test, then you can reduce by bringing it down. All right. So now we are going to import our location icon Reduce the size. Go back to image adjustment hue and saturation. Then drag it over here. Then go to your test and make a copy of this. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to reduce the font size. So Having done this one, now we are going back to our test over here. Then we are going to bring this light, reduce the size this way, then change it to screen, position it over here. Then we are going to apply a Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to make use of 10.0. Now we are going to duplicate it. Drag it over here to duplicate. Then take this one to this position. Then duplicate it again. And this one we are going to position it at the top here. So the last but not the least, then come to your test and copy this one. Now go back to your test. Go back to your test. Then we are going to draw a rent angle like this. Then change the color to white select your test control plus v to paste reduce the font size then place it inside here 
Then select the rectangle and the text using your shift key by holding your shift key. Then apply horizontal alignment and vertical alignment to centralize it. Then select the text and change the font color to black. Then select the rent angle. We are going to reduce the size. Hold your shift key while you select the test. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Now we are going to rotate it this way and drag it up here. Then rotate it this way to balance it. Now use your arrow key then to move it. Then we are going to reduce the size. Something like this. So that is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. If you need any of my flyer design, please you can order from my Fiverr account using the link in the descriptions. If you want, if you want to also create a Fiverr account, there is a link in the description. Follow the link and create your Fiverr account. Then also use TubeBuddy to optimize your video channel. Then the link is there. You can use it to create your TubeBuddy channel account. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate.